What's going on guys? JPS back another video and I'm here with Arturo. What's good? And today we're going to be reacting to 14 of the deadliest animals in Australia, Danger Down Under. So, Australia, known for its wildlife, particularly spiders that I've known. Spiders. Yeah. It's one of the deadly animals for sure. And they also just have a bunch of other weird animals that we don't have to worry about in the United States. So, <laughs> this is 14 of the deadliest animals. At the same time, though, they got a lot of really beautiful wildlife, I believe. So we're going to learn some more about that. Hit the like button, guys. Hit subscribe. Let's get right into this. For some people, Australia is a country full of lots of bitey animals that want to end your life. Although there are some dangerous creatures in Australia, the risk of them biting or killing you is relatively low. In fact, there are plenty of other countries that are far more dangerous when it comes to wildlife. But of course, it's important not to be reckless when visiting Australia. In this video, I will be going through just a few creatures on the continent, <laughs> well, as I will so be going through the deadliest animals in Australia. The first group of animals we will be looking at are the land animals. And when you first take a look at the Australian ecosystem, it seems to be missing something. Most other continents have large land carnivores, whereas Australia seems to be lacking them. This land was once home to a large marsupial lion, but this creature went extinct around 30,000 years ago. Today, one of Australia's largest land carnivores is the dingo, but this wild dog wasn't always Australian. The earliest known dingo fossil was found in Western Australia, and this dates back to around 3,450 years ago. It's thought that dingoes first reached Australia around 8,300 years ago, and it's believed that they were brought over by a human population. Since then, they really have made Australia their home, but they're not exactly very dangerous to humans. In most cases, dingoes only go after children, and the most recent attacks were non-fatal and happened in 2021. To this day, there has only been a handful of fatal dingo attacks. And for the most part, we're not on the menu and they don't view us as food. In Australia, far more- I kind of want to find a dingo and make that my pet. No, yeah, they look pretty tough. They, they look, look really cool. They look like, what's that one breed? It's like Shiba Inu or something, like some some Shiba type of dog. But yeah, they look they, they look pretty like domesticated. Like They don't look like a wild, some type of wild animal. I know, that's what I'm saying. They look pretty tough. <laughs> More people are killed by domesticated dogs than they are by dingoes. And really, they're not as dangerous as you might think. There are some other relatively large land carnivores in Australia, and these come in the form of monitor lizards. Ooh. The largest of the Australian monitor lizards is the Parenti. But really, this creature see, is very unlikely to attack- <laughs> You see that coming at you on a walk, what are you doing? Bro, no, hell no. And they, they, I've seen, like, I feel like I've seen, like, I've seen Komodo dragons. I'm pretty sure Komodo dragons move fast, and the way they move, it's so, like... I don't know, it sets fear in your heart, brother. Reptilian the way they move. movements. Yeah, bro, that shit looks so weird. <laughs> a human. These lizards live in the more arid areas of Australia, and they very rarely encounter humans. Even if you did come across this reptile in the wild, it would probably flee, their as it's really focused so... on much smaller oh prey, God. such as lizards and birds. Strangely, one of the most dangerous creatures that you can run into on land in Australia is not a predator, and it is in fact the southern cassowary. This bird is one of three species of cassowary, and it is the heaviest bird in Australia despite being shorter than the emu. These giant birds mostly feed on fruits on the forest floor, and for the most part they are quite peaceful creatures. Problems arise when people start feeding these birds, as these birds can become very protective of their young, and they don't need a lot of encouragement to attack. One of the things that makes the southern oh. cassowary very dangerous are its two spear-like inner claws. When attacking, it will like thrust these towards people. Stuff. That looks like it would hurt, bro. A yeah. lot. Yeah. God damn. And they can easily become embedded in your abdomen. Even though these birds are potentially dangerous, attacks are still relatively rare, and there have only been a few fatalities They're over the years. Though. Look at those colors. One of the most recent yeah. fatal attacks that, that didn't even really... happen in Australia, as a Florida Fire. man was killed by his pet cassowary in 2019. So even though this bird doesn't take many lives, it's best to leave it alone. And this is especially the case if they have young. Even though Australia is lacking some large land carnivores, it definitely isn't lacking smaller venomous creatures. Australia is famous for its highly venomous snakes, and there really are quite a few species. The species that is often known as the most deadly is the inland taipan, but really it's very unlikely that you will come across this snake. More than 85% of Australians live within 50 kilometers of the coast, and that's because the majority of Australia is inhospitable. Most of Australia is made up of dry deserts, and it's very hard to make a living here. 
in these areas is where you'll find the inland taipan and really this snake wants nothing to do with you they feed almost exclusively on small mammals and they'd only bite a human in self-defense this snake is called the deadliest snake in australia because of its venom as it's estimated that one bite possesses enough lethality to kill at least a hundred fully grown humans of course stats what? like these are very frightening what the fuck? you're done bro you're actually done especially think about where it lives in the desert you get bit oh, you have nothing it's a long way to yeah they gotta come get you in a helicopter bro wait so, wait, so australia so most of the people <coughs> are living on like the outer skirts and right on the coast yeah because inside is it's like the desert it's the outback it's what? nothing there. it looks like i mean this looks good on it there's more vegetation here than most of it that's looking kind of what cool. i've seen like it's pretty I've, cool I've, right? I've never heard are there like a lot of countries like that i've never heard of a country like that not many not many that are its own continent like australia yeah so at the same time though they're very isolated from like the rest of the world yeah that's true but living on the coast was pretty tough though like they are like the beaches yeah yeah they got big beach culture yeah so oh, yeah but there are quite a few other species that kill more people in Australia than the inland taipan. Since the year 2000, there are four main culprits when it comes to snake bite fatalities. And these are the coastal taipan with three fatalities, the western brown snake with three fatalities, the tiger snake with six fatalities, and the eastern brown snake with 12 fatalities. These four species are not the most venomous snakes, but they're more likely to come into contact with humans, and they're more likely to bite. Luckily, if you are bitten by any of these snakes in Australia, normally if you get medical attention, you will be fine. As there are so many venomous creatures in Australia, most hospitals have a large amount of anti-venom. And this, of course, will reverse the effects oh of the venom. God. Australia is also very well known for its large spiders. Oh, hell no. And these can come <laughs> in the form of tarantulas, trapdoor spiders, oh and mouse God. spiders. All of these arachnids are potentially dangerous, but possibly the most deadly species oh. is the Sydney funnel yeah. web. This Those species has a highly toxic venom that's oh. produced in large amounts. It has very large fangs to inject this venom, and a bite would definitely ruin your day. It looks like As this species like a is the deadliest. Alright, let's pause on a non zoomed up part, bro. Please. <laughs> Bro, did you see those fangs? I think that's that's been like one of the biggest deterrents. When I think of Australia, I'm like, oh, the spiders. I know, but it's it's it's, it's not just because you see them. It's, yeah, that's it's not as big of a deal. I'm pretty sure that people make it out to be, but those things look fucking creepy, bro. Those are in other countries that we visit too, but in Australia they have so many spiders. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine just seeing one of the things in your crib? Like, you can see a fat spider crawling on the. Yeah, I've seen I've seen like uh, videos of. People like they open a room and then there's like a spider that covers like almost the whole wall. Bro, what? That's crazy, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> I hate zoomed up pictures of not just spiders, bugs in general. Yeah. We were talking about that yeah. a few days ago. It's like yeah. you can see all their little intricate details. Legs and hair. And yeah. Like, why does a bug have fur? Yeah, that thing is weird, bro. Those things are weird. <laughs> Keep that away from me, bro. Hell no. A spider in Australia. You may assume that it kills oh. quite a few people each year. This couldn't be any further from the truth, as there hasn't been a fatality from a Sydney funnel web bite since 1981, wow. and this was when its anti-venom was first made available. So even though many of the large spiders in Australia are frightening, it that is very unlikely crazy. that they will kill oh, you. Like a, but now we've looked at some spider, of the most the dangerous spider, land creatures man, in bro, Australia, <laughs> it's time that we look towards the ocean. The waters around Australia are teeming with life. And there are quite a few marine species that can only be found around Australia. Just off the coast of Australia, you will find some oh, of the largest beautiful. reefs in the world. And these reefs are very fragile and diverse ecosystems. Before we go any further, I'd just like to point out that shark attacks are very rare. There are only around 5 to 15 fatal attacks each year, but quite often a large percentage of these attacks happen off the coast of Australia. Shark, shark attacks are mostly carried out by three main species, these being the bull shark, the great white shark and the tiger shark. In Australia, the majority of attacks are carried out by great whites, and since the year 2000, bull sharks were responsible for one fatal attack, tiger sharks were responsible for one fatal attack, and great whites were responsible for 18. The most recent fatal shark attack in Australia happened earlier this year, but the culprit was thought to be a bull shark as it happened in a river. As I've already said, shark attacks are still relatively rare, but as it is one of the most frightening ways to go, it's understandable yeah. why so many people Definitely. are scared of sharks. Not all deadly ocean creatures have to be large predators, as the waters of Australia are also- On that note, when I'm like swimming in the ocean, yeah. and I, 
I don't know. Sometimes you step on something wrong. And <laughs> maybe a little fish brushes your ankle. Yeah. I start swimming like hell. <laughs> I don't care what it is. We, I think Jaws and all that, the pop culture has really ruined it for people. Yeah. Because sharks like are the always on the back of our minds when we're swimming. No, literally, bro. That shit is got to be one of the... Like, for me, that's like... I'm, I, I, I used to be more scared, but like... Once I realized, like, they don't kill as many people as I thought. But it's just, like, the thought of being next to that yeah. humongous thing in the ocean. Like, yeah. that thing is just... You'd feel helpless, really. Yeah. I think the best thing you can do is, like, punch their nose. Like, that's what I've heard. And their eyes, yeah. Their eyes, right, yeah, type shit. But, like, imagine that thing just opening its mouth and... Clamp. <laughs> that's wild. That's what happened. Bro, and people have to get prosthetic legs and stuff. Imagine... <laughs> survive, being a shark attack survivor, that's crazy. Yeah. I wonder how that would have... Wow. Oof. Anyways, not going back to the ocean after that. I'll tell you that much. It's crazy. Go home to some smaller killers. If you go snorkeling in the waters around Australia, you might be able to find some blue ringed octopus species. For the most I part, these creatures are harmless you if you leave yeah. them alone. But if you accidentally step on them or you pester them, it could be the last thing you do. Blue ringed octopuses can produce what? tetrodotoxin, which is the same toxin that's found in some pufferfish species. This toxin is extremely dangerous, and if a blue ringed octopus bites you, it can certainly end your life. Fatalities from blue ringed octopus bites are extremely rare, but there's thought to have been at least 11 over the years. Another group of marine creatures that you might want to look Honestly, out for- Honestly, that octopus looks really cool. It does. Do you know where you heard of, of it before? No. I think I was looking into something similar to this, but it wasn't specifically Australia. It was just like interesting like animals or something, and I saw this one. Imagine like a little octopus is the reason, bro. <laughs> it's the I'd reason. Be so mad. <laughs> That's what takes you out. Yeah. You just look down, you see octopus. blue rings. Your vision starts fading. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that would suck. Bro. What are the jellyfish, and more specifically, the box jellyfish? These creatures are able to cause paralysis and cardiac arrest oh. with their stings, and in some cases, this can lead to death. Since the year 2000, there have been at least 10 confirmed fatalities, and it's important that you look out for signs. So far, these creatures have proved that the waters around Australia are relatively dangerous, but there is still one ecosystem that we haven't taken a look at. Australia's freshwaters can be very rich and diverse, mm. oh. and they're home to some creatures. On the, no on the note of jellyfish before this, have you been stung by one before? No, I never have. Have you? I have, yeah. Yeah. You got it. so, you know, Someone peeing on, on you? works. Yeah. yeah. I peed on myself. I didn't let someone <laughs> pee on me, bro. Come on. <laughs> Where'd you get bit at? <laughs> Honestly, I've been stung like multiple more times? times than I can remember. What? Yeah. What the fuck? So like hand, stomach, like leg, like everywhere, bro. <laughs> and it, like it, it does suck. It stings. Yeah, it stings pretty bad. But it's this, these are just like basic jellyfish, bro. That whatever we just saw, <laughs> that yeah. box jelly. Do you see those, bro? That thing. Tentacles, they long, whatever they're called, bro. Long as hell. <laughs> <laughs> if that thing wraps around. Me, <laughs> I'm going, bro. Oh, yeah, that's it's over. Clipped. I had a good life. <laughs> that thing looks scary. Creatures that can't be found anywhere. <laughs> freshwaters can be very rich and diverse, and they're home to some creatures that can't be found anywhere else in the world. These waters are often full of Whoa. predators, and some that of them are even really home cool. to one of the largest predators on this planet. There are two species of crocodilian that can Ooh. be found in Australia. One is the mostly harmless freshwater crocodile, and the other is the highly dangerous saltwater crocodile. The Australian freshwater crocodile is mostly interested Oof. in fish, and you can tell this those, by its long, narrow teeth. snout. Oh this crocodile only really attacks in self-defense, or sometimes in cases of mistaken identity. The saltwater crocodile, on the mistaken other hand, identity. is one of the most dangerous reptiles <laughs> in the world, and is one of the few predators that sees humans directly as a food source. Although they are called saltwater crocodiles, they are mostly found in brackish waters, and if one of these predators chooses to attack you in the water, you stand little chance. These crocodilians really are apex predators, and giants can exceed lengths of 6 meters. Even though these predators are what? terrifying and they are more than- 20 feet? Holy shit. What he said was wild too. He said they can be found mostly in brackish waters. So that's like, brackish. it's like where salt water meets fresh water. So you could mistake oh, a salt, mistake one for- fuck. Yeah, exactly. Bro. Wait, 20? I didn't even know that existed. I thought that was like some movie shit, bro. Yeah. That's like, bro, that's bigger than the size of this room, bro. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, bro. Holy 20 feet. shit. That's like, Over it's more than three of one yeah. of them. Yeah, time. <laughs> that's actually wild, for. They could eat you in one bite. <laughs> bro, you and I, yeah, yeah, we wouldn't stand any chance. That's, that thing is probably like a thousand pounds. 
20 feet? And they're, those, That's ridiculous. they've been around for, they look like dinosaurs. Yeah, they have been around for a while. So that means they evolved to keep up with the times. Like they, yeah, yeah. the motherfuckers are fucking dangerous, bro. I would not fuck around with one of those things. Holy shit. There's people who be wrestling, wrestling with crocodiles and stuff too. I'm like, <laughs> you play stupid games, you win dumb prizes, bro. <laughs> you That's win dumb prizes. That's example. Like, <laughs> why I've would never you play with that. a crocodile, bro? That's funny. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you stand little chance these crocodilians really are apex predators and giants can exceed lengths of six meters even though these predators are terrifying and they are more than capable of taking down a human fatal attacks on humans are still relatively rare on average in australia saltwater crocodiles kill around 1.9 people a year and this really is a shockingly low number I guess if you knew this predator could potentially be in a river, you're very unlikely to swim in it. And really, I yeah. wouldn't blame you. If you think there's any deadly Australian creatures <laughs> that I haven't included in this video, then let me know. You should have included the kangaroos. <laughs> That's who we didn't forgot to include. Bro, the motherfuckers jump high. I don't know about them. deadly, but you might get knocked out. <laughs> they got some hair. Yeah, like, they be boxing, swole. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've seen videos before of a, a kangaroo getting a fight with someone. And yeah. We their should. legs are really strong too. Their yeah. their hops are crazy. Yeah, we should react to one of those videos, yeah. like kangaroo fighting compilation. That'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> have to. Um, but anyways, that was fourteen of the deadliest animals. So does that make you scared to go to Australia is, now? Like all these animals, they look dangerous as hell. But like, I feel like underlying, like at the end, he's always like, "Oh, but there's not as many fatalities as you think." Yeah. So I feel like as long as you're just not a absolute idiot and you're not looking for trouble, like you're like we'll probably be fine. Yeah. So. Yeah, we just got to stay at the beach. I think <laughs> <laughs> the beach isn't safe. The jellyfish going to come for you. I don't know. I feel like what was constant throughout was like one fatality a year, yeah. three fatalities a year. Yeah. But it's just the fact that I think it scares people just for being in their head that those things exist. Exactly. Knowing their capabilities, like their stats. <laughs> They're like all like Hall of Fame. But <laughs> the truth about it is, is... Walking down an American street will be way more dangerous than being in a jungle yeah. filled with all of these, probably. Exactly, yeah, the probabilities are probably... <laughs> it's cra which is crazy, but yeah. that's, that's how facts. it is. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, 14 of the deadliest animals in Australia. Let us know if you guys have any first-hand experience with any of these animals. Any encounters. I'm yeah. sure everyone has encounters with spiders and stuff, but yeah. I really want to know if, about this octopus. That octopus was that. <laughs> something the about octopus. it. Yeah. yeah. The blue-ringed octopus, yeah. And that box jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Those two. Yeah, have you guys ever, like, ever, like, especially at the beach, like, that's my main concern. Have you guys ever encountered any of these sea creatures? Please let me know. Yeah. What beaches do we avoid? And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.